like the Prince of Persia, full of Eastern promise and really cool moves. Plus, game addiction. It's as old as video gaming itself. The rush you get from playing has made some people joystick junkies. Gamepad finds out the facts. For a video game addict, the game that they play would be the single most important thing in that person's life. And comedy store player Andy Smart. Uh, so here we go, let's try a little Mario. On go. why the N64 is still a contender. Over the past few years, the samurai-themed Onimusha series has shown there's much more to survival horror than groaning zombies and bad one-liners. Hack and slash can be chic. No, really. There are two new Onimusha games just around the corner, the first being this, Onimusha Variety. Essentially a samurai beat-em-up, it lets you stab, slash and soul-suck with up to three of your mates playing as your favourite hero, or indeed, demon. So, chic in a 2D retro kind of way. But what we're really waiting for is Onimusha 3, the final chapter of the epic. And you might recognise its ultra-chic star, the actor better known as milk-swigging assassin Leon, or his computer look-alike anyway. Real name, Jean Renault. In a story that spans four demon-plagued centuries, you get to play as both the noble samurai of previous games, Samanuska, and Jean's character, Jacques. So, considering the 400-year gap between the men, it's amazing how much they have in common. Namely, kicking demon ass. Which is lucky because the enemies in the Onimusha series are not just numerous, they also come in some particularly malicious forms. True to the spirit of the series, there'll be compelling drama and gripping action. All brought together in a glossy epic created by some celebrity Japanese movie directors. So you could say it's going to be a real director's cut. Next up, the ultimate in pro celebrity golf tournaments. It's Mario Golf on the GameCube. The original version of Mario Golf was loved so much that Nintendo probably figured a GameCube sequel just couldn't miss. Despite the cartoony graphics, there is a serious golf game in here, and one that's still well above par. Unlike all those serious golf sims, any monkey can play it. Or even girls! <laughs> Just joking. Actually, the new swing system can be adapted whatever your skills, making for a four-player party game that's just great. Gamepad. One of the best things about Mario Golf is that it reminds us of the old one, a classic on the N64. So, we got comic actor Andy Smart of the Comedy Store Players to give us a flashback of the original, which he's been playing for more years than he's able to remember. A lot of people come up to me after gigs and they say, Andy, you only work six hours a week. What do you do for the rest of the time? Well, let me introduce you to my Nintendo. This is what we do during the day, where you're all at work. We're sitting at home just practicing our golf. Let's just take you through a, one of my favourite holes now. Here we go. Now this is uh, Yoshi's Island and as you can see they've carved a hole out of the, uh, the riverbed there. Uh, so here we go, let's try a little Mario. There we go. Let's see where this goes. 
This is one of my favourite courses. There's six courses to play, uh, and I've been playing this game for about 12 years and never got bored of it. Hello. Well, did you get that? <laughs> did you get that on camera? Ah, the thing that drew us to the game in the first place was the, the, the colours. The colours are fantastic. If you're in a certain state of mind, shall we say, these colours can really set your brain on fire. And uh, one of the joys of this game is that um, uh, once, you're, once you're playing against other people, you can use the joypad to heckle them as they're playing their shot, especially if it's a really important shot. Because we obviously, you know, we have a few side bets on this. Um, and if someone's got a big shot coming up, you can really have fun oh, with this no. character. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, one of my favorite players now, which uh, I get heckled for using when we're playing in the tournaments. And this is, uh, I don't know what his name is. I've had the game 12 years, and I don't know what his name is. That, is, that shows you the sort of state we're in when we're playing. But imagine if uh, Sergio Garcia or uh, Nick Faldo turned up on the tee at St. Andrews and there was a, a seven-foot-high terrapin with spines on his back using one hand. Let's hope we get the swing on this shot. Here we go. There he goes. Look at that backswing. Boof! Get in there! <laughs> he's got some power. Nowhere near the grip, but he's got some power. My mother always said that uh, when she came to visit that I should get rid of this machine because nothing good would ever come of it and I would waste a lot of my life. But now, here I am on television earning some money. So, Mum, you were wrong. Next up, a game with graphics that'll have men swooning and a hero that'll have women swooning. Well, it did me anyway. It's Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. The golden glow of the Prince of Persia sets it in a time far back in history, farther back even than well, the original game, actually, which I remember playing on the Amiga around a decade ago-ish. I can't believe how time has flown since playing that first game, but time also does funny things whilst playing this latest one. That's because it lets you mess with time, like speeding or slowing the action and freezing enemies in another dimension. It's all to do with sand and hourglasses and other mythical Middle Eastern mysteries. Minding his ass on the cutlass, just watch the prince move. He's fluid, agile, acrobatic, romantic, and most importantly, convincing. You feel a real sense of jeopardy when leading him forward. Not because the game's hard, if you make a mistake, you have a limited ability to rewind time. So that's not it. I think the jeopardy comes because you actually care whether he plunges to his death or not. Those billowy white trousers could be ruined. As well as the skillful balance and acrobatics, the challenge comes in working out what you need to do, or move, or access, to progress through the environments. Keeping you at it is the satisfying swish of your sword. A plot to rival any in the Arabian Nights. The surreal manipulation of time. And a heavy, hazy, rose-scented atmosphere that could have come straight from a dream. Whichever way you slice it, when it comes to original action adventure, the Prince of Persia still rules. I'm Michel Ansel, the creator of Rayman, and uh, you're watching Gamepad. Still to come on Gamepad, are you addicted to video games? We'll let you know. But before that, Gamepad takes you on a motoring tour of the world. Well, Britain actually, but Britain's in the world. So, Project Gotham Racing 2. 
You're driving around an accurately modelled 3D copy of one of the most beautiful and dramatic cities in the UK, in your yellow supercar, taking in the sights. The question is, what's the name of the car and where on earth are you? All the clues are there. See if you're right after the break. I will work as hard as I can. Welcome back to Gamepad. Before the break, I asked you to name this British city and this Italian car. You can probably just... 